I would like to call to the stage, please, our top five female finishers, starting with fifth place in a time of 10.55 for 100 Ks, Konoka Azumi of Japan. In third place from South Africa in a time of 10 hours 31, Naomi Brand. In second place from Canada in a time of 9 hours 52, wow. what a battle it was, all the way to the finish, Anne-Marie Madden. <laughs> and uh, this was a special thing to see, she was absolutely blown away by it all, an emotional finish line it was. Um, she started crying, we all started to get, um, it was very emotional i got to say. Uh, first place, our female champion for Tarawera 2020, 100 Ks in a time of 9 hours, 39 minutes, from Belgian, Manuela Soko. Uh, and it was an incredible race that uh, Manuela and Anne-Marie were battling all the way through the day. They were trading positions in aid stations. They were racing super hard. This was pretty cool too, uh, an amazing battle that broke out uh, pretty late in the race. The battle for second, third, fourth and fifth was decided in the last 30 Ks. There was only one man that ran away with it, but the rest of the race was decided only here on the finish line. And for much of the day, he was in second place. However, he finished eventually in fifth place. He's won this event twice. He's a wonderful human being. He finished in a time of 8.54. From the United States of, of America, it is Sage Canada. And we'll claim him from Auckland, New Zealand. He chased super hard out of the Miller Road 8 station. I gave him some splits and he really went after it. Eight hours, 47, Andreas Romanus. Third place in a time of eight hours and 40 minutes. From the United States of America, Chris Brown. At a time of 8.39, good enough for second place from France, Matthew Blanchard. <laughs> and our champion, our Tarawera champion for 2020 from Great Britain in an incredible time of 8 hours and 3 minutes for 100 Ks from Korao Torotorua, Tom Evans. <laughs> Tom's name will go on a trophy peppered with some of the best runners in the world. Let's hear it for our champion, Tom Evans. A lot of mana comes with that. We consider him our new chief, and we would love to come and see him next year defend his title. Let's hear it one more time for our top five male finishers the Tarawera 100K. In a 100 mile event in a time of 23 hours and 11 minutes for fifth place. Okay. From Australia, it's Tilly Peppers. Fourth place in a time of 22 hours and 53 minutes from Canada, Marie-Yves Legrand. Third place in a time of 22 hours, 28 minutes from Rotorua, New Zealand, Sue Crowley. That was crazy, Sue says. Uh, second place in a time of 22 hours, 14 minutes, from France, Caroline Sabur. And our female champion, in a time of 18 hours and 10 minutes, for 100 miles, from Canada, Elsa McDonald. What a race she had. For much of it, she was in third place outright, and I believe that's how it finished. It was an incredible run. Beat almost the entire field home. Tell me about your experience yesterday. You managed to get it done in just the one day. Uh, I think that's pretty special. Tell us a little, about, a little bit about that, how that run went for you. Well, it went really well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
just went out with a really open mind yesterday because you never know what's going to happen in these long distance races with so many variables. So I just did the best I could. I felt like I paced myself properly and I was able to fuel really well. This is the coolest 100 miler I've ever done. Um, I usually get extreme temperatures, so <laughs> this was pretty comfortable. So I think that helped a lot. Now, it wasn't all your own way. Did you lead that race from the start? Um, pretty much from the second aid station or first aid station, I think, yeah. And you're aware that Cat Bradley was chasing? <laughs> I ran with her for a couple of minutes on the first, uh, first leg, yeah. Bumblebees. All right, let's hear it one more time for our top five female finishers in the 100 miles. Congratulations to you. New Zealand is John Polam. Fourth place in a time of 19 hours and five minutes from Japan, Rio Murata. In third place in a time of 18 hours and 23 minutes from United States, Adam Kimball. Second place in a time of 16 hours and 48 minutes from Japan, Yoshihiko Ishikawa. And this was an incredible race from beginning to end. He led it all the way. He had a two minute lead within the first few Ks and he extended it and extended it as the day went on. He got faster. He's run a course record taking something like 20 odd minutes out of Jeff Browning's time. Our champion for 100 miles in a time of 15 hours, 53 minutes from Australia. It's Vladimir Chateau. I don't know, are there any Aussies here? That's got to feel pretty good, eh? Vlad, a couple of questions. Um, I feel like the world is on notice. We had perhaps the world's best ultra runner set that course record and you blew it out of the water. Uh, what's the feedback been like from overseas? Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's been pretty hectic all night. Um, my phone hasn't stopped and uh, I still haven't got to everything, but it's uh, looking like I could be heading off to do a couple of bigger races um, this year and next year and I, I can't wait. It was your first go at the 100 mile distance, uh, you stepped up and uh, you really knocked it out of the park. Um, I know it's an emotional thing for all of us just to achieve the distance, but it must feel pretty special to have done what you did yesterday. Tell me a little bit about how you're feeling with it all. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm overwhelmed with um, just how I felt, felt out there all day and, and with the result, it's been a long time coming. but. Uh, you know, I used to think I was really good at 70 or 80 Ks. I kind of thought that was maybe my sweet spot, but um, I think I'm a little bit more mature now. And I've got the speed in my legs from the racing I used to do when I was younger on the road. And uh, I think, you know, that, that longer stuff, if I can hold it together, it's, um, I think it's a special spot for me. So I'm looking forward to it. And I had the most amazing day yesterday. Thank you to everyone. Um, the volunteers. Um, I was able to hold it together, and uh, I, <laughs> I saw Roger um, at about just after the boat, and I uh, came up to him. He's like, "Glad you're going so well." I'm like, "I know. I'm just so happy." And, and and I was running well, and I just said, "Onwards, I'm going. I'm just locking in." And I locked in, and I went, and I just dug deep, and I kept going. And even when I wanted to stop, it was, you know, I just I just kept rolling. So it all came together. Thank you, Vlad. Kind words. <laughs> Our trophy for first place in the 100 miles from Tim Day. I know it means a lot to him. And uh, onwards indeed. That would be the quotes. He's headed for big things one more time. Let's hear it for our top five finishers in the Tonga 100 miles.
Michael Parsons from Reese Edwards to Tom Evans, oh, our new Colorado champion in chief, in a record time of eight hours and three minutes. I'll wait to get the official on that. It looks like he's taken nearly 20 minutes off the course record. An incredible run from start to finish. Why not? <laughs> Welcome mate, congratulations. Is that something pretty special at the finish there? Yeah, it was just yeah, just one of those days where everything felt right and that's not I guess on the day it's individual but actually all of the support from all around the course is incredible and I couldn't have done it without it. And so firstly thank you so much for that and then thank you so much for the race organisers. Uh, and the volunteers at all of the aid stations, they were absolutely incredible. Um, and yeah, I apologise for sweaty high fives, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Uh, it means so much, and yeah, it's been out in New Zealand for three weeks now, so job done. Super happy with the result, and thank you very much. Bye uh, bye. so much for coming out. The Tonawera 2020, we'll see you back next year.